What's going on everybody? It's your boy Pyro and I'm back with another reaction video and um, an Airbnb host told on the merry guest after he wrote a bad review about him. So I was watching the Young Turks today and we gonna get into this reaction, man. Let me pull this up real quick for y'all. I ain't gonna even hold y'all, you feel me? After refusing to pay for allegedly breaking the rules at an Airbnb that he rented, a super host renting that short-term rental to the uh, the customer decided to pursue um, some pretty petty revenge against the guest. Now, it ruined the guest's marriage according to a new lawsuit, so buckle up, things are about to get real spicy. So here's how it all went down. Back in 2022, gentleman by the name of Sean Mackey, not much of a gentleman as you'll find in just a moment, <laughs> rented a four bed, two bath home for a weekend. Okay. Uh, so he can spend some time with friends in Memphis, have a good time. Uh, they were planning on going to a football game. Now he was a recommended super host on Airbnb, Pamela Fuller's little bit more country home. He decides to rent it and according to the listing, Fuller was renting the home for $567 a night, Woo, and it could accommodate up to 12 guests. Okay, $564, 12 guests, but it's in Memphis. That's the only thing that I'm tripping about. That's crazy. Do y'all think that's worth it? Because I don't know how I look in Memphis, but from what I be seeing on TV, I don't know. Let me know. They be making it seem like... If I ride through there, I'm gonna just have to keep going. Okay, clear. Pretty good. You can read the listings, that's what it says. Mackie booked a stay for two nights from September 9th to September 11th okay. for a total of four guests. Okay. In making the arrangements, Mackie told Fuller that he would be in town to visit longtime acquaintances right. and that he may invite them over for dinner. Emails included in court filings show. So Fuller did ask that he register anyone planning to visit the property, even if they weren't staying overnight, but that additional guests were fine. Like, okay, you're gonna have more people over, that's totally fine, you need to tell me. Okay, but why do I gotta register the guests? I'm telling you I'm coming with four people, I might have some company over. Why do I gotta tell you everybody's coming over? What if it's like babies and stuff like that, do that count too? Like that's 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 going through a little too much. And if dude did that, he was cool. But oh, come on, man, five hundred and sixty-four dollars a night, and I'm only staying two nights, bro. You hold me accountable. Anything to go on. So what do anybody else did come here and visit? Got to do it anything? I don't understand that. Who though? Like, let me know. Register these guests, even if they're not going to sleep over, and we're good to go. She also listed the house rules, including, by the way, Airbnbs are the worst. No smoking or vaping. No vaping? I understand. No vaping. I don't care. You must Come vape. on, man. I get the no smoking, but vape. like, anyway. If you don't, if you don't want to rent out your space, <laughs> then don't rent out your space. I can't stand Airbnb. Okay, let me keep, go, keep going. No excessive noise or parties. Okay, it's a house. I, wait, 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 wait. Because I don't even know if she's going to say this. Not only... Is it a house? You can have 12 people there. So let me ask y'all, YouTube, how many people do you consider it being a party? Because if you ask me, I'm like six people, seven people. That's like a party. And you telling me I can have 12 guests here and nobody think it's a party. That is crazy. That is crazy. Who is this lady renting this house out or man? All right. No guests from the local area, unclear what that means, but okay, why the local area? Is there something wrong with the local area? You don't want Shady guests from the local- Shady people live there. Okay, the uh, no parking in front of the garage doors. Wait, 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 I just said, I don't know how Memphis looked. That kind of just confirmed it. You don't, want no, you don't want no local people, where is your Airbnb? That's crazy. Or on the right side of the driveway, and there will be a $250 fine plus cancellation of the stay for arriving with additional guests. So this person's a stickler, has some pretty strict rules. Uh, the rules warned that there were security cameras uh, on the exterior of the house and judging by how uh, harsh and strict this uh, super host is, I wouldn't be surprised if there were cameras inside the house, although 
that claim is unfounded. <laughs> okay, let me be clear. And then this is where things get tricky. According to the lawsuit, um, the plaintiff at 6.08 PM, plaintiff, true to his word okay. or work, updated the guest list as follows. Oh, he did it. Okay, so there's the list, there's the proof of the list. And then uh, Fuller Wait, wasn't too thrilled about that, telling him that. Stacy, Carol, Ursula, Kim, Tony, Marlon, Twintis, Daryl, Darius, and maybe a few more. Only four or five will be staying overnight. Okay, he came with four people and five people might stay tonight. That is nine people. That's nine people that he got registered. Oh, that's probably, that's more than 12 people. If he came with four, you got five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, that's, that's 13. All right. I mean, he, he updated the guest list. That's a lot of people. I don't know now. Actually, only eight guests are allowed and that wow. he would have to pay for the extra guests. But remember, the listing said that up to 12 guests are allowed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is where things Animal get party. super shady. Yeah. So 45 minutes later, Fuller asked, again asked, Mackie to either add the extra guests or have them leave. So pay more for the extra guests or have them leave. She also stated that they received complaints of disturbances, yelling and profanity from the neighbors. I have no way to So I don't, cause I don't know how this works. So if you book a cabin, if it got four rooms, do it matter whether you book it with two people or six people? Like I thought you were just booking the cabin. I don't know how that kind of, I don't, I don't know how that works. I don't know. I always, I always say two people and then everybody else come. I ain't never got in trouble with it. Knock on wood. Hope I don't. I ain't never, they ain't never said nothing. Prove that and look, if you're being super obnoxious and loud and disruptive to the neighbors, that is annoying and you should be penalized for that in my oh, opinion. People. Eventually things calmed down, but after the stay was over, Mackie did leave a negative review. I probably would too. And Fuller didn't like that. Mm -hmm. So Fuller began allegedly harassing Mackie, opening a claim with Airbnb and charging him a pretty massive penalty of $960. She says that she was charging $160 for four extra guests, two nights at $20 a night, $250 for. So if he wouldn't have wrote that bad claim, would she had not did that or was that already in the process? That's crazy. For violating rule number six, <laughs> no, local. no local guests allowed. Two hundred. Who knows? I recognize that guy. <laughs> $250 for violating rule number eight, excessive noise, and $300 for moderation of your review. We might have millions of people watching this show, but you can be the difference maker because. Yeah, shout out to uh, the Young Turks. Today was my first time uh, watching this and I heard this news and I was like, yeah. This is is, it gets worse, John. My guess would be that like you can probably pay to have a review taken down or something like that. That then would be you my speculation. You pay for it. He's not, she would prefer not to. Right, obviously. You now, know. after Mackey refused to pay the $960 in additional yeah. fees and penalties for allegedly having extra guests over and violating two of the house rules, Fuller emailed his wife a photo taken by one of the property's security cameras, what? which showed Mackie in the company of another female oh. at 3.16 AM. 3.16, huh? Here, here's the image. Here. Oh my goodness. That's as petty as petty can get. When he went low, she went to hell. This is crazy. He only stayed for two days. She must have, well, she already knew that he had locals over there. And I just thought about that. Like, they was asking, like, how would she know? She saw the license plates. And, you know, the license plate got the county on it. Yeah, these are locals. These are from places where I said they could. That's crazy. She went through all this footage and found dude with her. Oh, my gosh. Is the image. 
Is she arresting him? Like, it looks like she's yeah, handcuffing him. I, I, I mean, it is another woman. Yeah, it's look, it's three sixteen. We get what the the photo was sent for. I mean, don't we all like to make a nice dinner and watch a movie at three sixteen in the morning? <laughs> dinner, movie, sleep at seven thirty. <laughs> um, yeah, listen. that's that. Don't do that. That's crazy. So I went from being mad at the Airbnb super host Fuller. So now turning on, I'm just kidding, I didn't turn on Mackie. Listen, I, Mackie and his infidelity, his uh, decision to be seduced by the <laughs> pleasures of the flesh, unacceptable. <laughs> I'm not in favor of that. Be good to your really? wife, you're not being good to your wife. However, this Airbnb super host is a terrible person, right? Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to fine you for using the phrase pleasures of the flesh. Like you gotta. How petty, how much research did the person have to do? Okay, boom. Not only do you go through all the footage and you find out that you had locals over here. You don't see me come in the house at 3 a.m. with a girl. You go through my social media or something and you find out I got a wife. Then you get the picture and you send it to my wife. Bro was really messing with the wrong one. He ain't even know that. That's crazy. That is crazy. If Airbnb host be nosy like that, I would never. She probably do got cameras in the house. I ain't gonna even cap. She probably got the porno. That's crazy. Flesh, but how about this? It's gonna blow your mind. What if they were both bad in this story? And he threw a no, huge no, party no. where he invited a bunch of people over and How made a bunch of he? noise, and the person was being too much of a stickler. Listen, John, we live in America where choose. nuance is not allowed, mm -hmm. and you must choose a side, okay? Mm -hmm. Good, bad, good. Bro was like, fuck the deposit. After, she, after dude or the woman or the host was like, no, you can't have this many people over. We gonna have this party. Fuck the deposit. They, that probably did happen. Evil, black, case, white. Which you got. In that case, the the host seems kind of annoying. Yeah. But, but I don't know what. Like maybe there's a context where they've had a bunch of people come over and have huge parties. I don't know. I've never hosted Airbnb. I've just been to it, and I consider myself a model tenant. But can you imagine looking forward to a trip with your friends and you have like a giant list of rules I would for be the place? Very annoying. Rule See, and that's what I'm not signing up for that. Come on, man. Y'all, put it down in the comments. If you written out a place, a Airbnb, you got a list of rules. How many rules, how many number of rules before you be like, no, nah, this is way too much going on? Because I, I give it like 10. You got 10 good rules. You feel me? Especially you paying $500 a night. Telling me I can't have no locals. This is crazy. Rule number 58. 58? You must wash your feet before you enter the house. <laughs> like, don't rent your place out. You don't out. need to do that. Jesus will take care of it for you. Right. But, um, By the way, I would prefer. What the heck? Bruh. Wash your feet before you come in the house. That is crazy. Man, listen, 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 people. I don't know if y'all ever went through this with an Airbnb. I've never rented an Airbnb. I always go get a hotel. I'm not about to be somewhere throwing a big party because if I did, I would just get a reception hall or go somewhere for that type of stuff. A restaurant, a concert, amusement park, the beach. The regular part, I'm just not renting out no Airbnb to do that. If I do that, we gonna be on some family chill type stuff. If I get a 12 person Airbnb, I might only take like six, seven people. I'm not even gonna cap, man. And it's still probably gonna seem like a party. I don't know, man, it's crazy. I just wanted to review this video with y'all, man, cause I know it's been a while. Until next time, I'm about this joint. Make sure you Subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment. Do y'all host Airbnbs? Have y'all rented one and had a bad host? Let me know.